<sighs> so guys um today is the we meant to go back yesterday which is on the fourth so today is the fifth so let's just say um day two or yeah one two day two that i'm stuck in talking so um this morning we went to their breakfast we we it's like the breakfast is not that bad compared to the first hotel it's okay it's not bad bad you guys see the clip of the video when i show you guys it's not that bad so we add it and um i went to the cash machine to take some money because i'm running out of cash so i went to take some money because we have to pay our bills and i didn't pay everything in one thank god for that because yesterday i paid the 300 no i paid 250 because with inclusive breakfast is 300 Turkish era. So I was doing Shakara. I said, we don't want your breakfast and all that, all that. Because we're thinking maybe we might not like the breakfast. So that's why I said, we don't want breakfast, but we'll go there in the morning. If we like the breakfast, we'll have and we'll pay. So when we went down today, we, you know, it's manageable. I was able to eat bread because I was craving for bread. And the bread is nice and fresh compared to the hotel where we're coming from. That is every, every the, the bread that they put out every day that nobody eats. That's the bread they keep bringing out. But this one is fresh. You see that they just brought it from bakery. It was nice sliced bread. It was really nice and soft. So I ate it with our cappuccino. They have um boiled egg and they have um what else did I show you guys? I think um they have sausage, cake, you know. So and I like the way they pack their water. So this is their water from the hotel. So we brought four just in case. So when we came back. I went to the reception to tell them that oh we had breakfast so i give them 50 turkish era so that is 300 and um then around 11 today i we went out because i went to go and take some cash i went to go and take 100 dollars from cash machine i don't know whether they will charge but i use my this yes somebody is knocking hold on guys Coming. Who is it? Sorry, I think he's going to the next door. He mistakenly knock on my. So um. So today eleven because we're meant to check out eleven because I didn't want to pay because the agreement. I mean, I was not agreement. The Adem was <laughs> the whole situation is like on the 28th, that is when the next flight will be able to go to UK. So, but we don't know anything can come up before that. So, I don't want to just pay for the whole 1500 Turkish share because I don't even have that kind of money with me. So, I'm paying um day by day. So, today I so I went to pay for today because that yesterday won't expire 11 o'clock today. So I went to pay for today. I gave them another 250. I said, okay, tomorrow we never know. Tomorrow when we eat breakfast, I'll pay for that, which is 25 for me, 25 for my daughter. So I will give them 250 today for today. So by 11 tomorrow will be out. So I went to take um 100 100 dollars. Uh, so I went to the black market to change it to 700 and something. I don't I don't think the receipt is here so so it's not like so and I have 20 pounds some of the money I brought from uh, UK because I brought I think I brought 200 I don't think I need much thing to buy because everything already been paid for our our breakfast our dinner so the 200 I brought is just for if you want to buy anything and I was told for people that come here before that things are very cheap which is true their thing is cheap very affordable you just have to you know cut your coat to your side there are some things that is 100 things that is 300 things that is 1000 just what you want to buy your budget so it's okay 
but i left this uh, 1000 for emergency god forbid emergency and when i check how much does this 120 pound worth is they are 200 anyway so that's what is going on and um we are here and my daughter went online because she says she's she's not eating anything spice and you guys you know i cook i put spice in my food the way i brought my kids up they eat spice food so because she's not eating food that is spicy she's been feeling a bit you know not herself much and i believe that is one of the reasons apart from the timing changing because uh we are three i think turkish is three hours ahead uk and she's never been to a country that the timing change so our body is not kind of used to it much because the plan where we are coming for four days and before anything our body start feeling a bit falling around i'm not used to the weather i'm not used to the timing we are already back in uk but because of the situation because she my daughter have not really traveled the only place i know she've traveled to where i've ever taken them which is nigeria um you guys you know i, I think i repeated one of my videos that nigerian timing is if their time is even different it's only one hour different so it's like that she's her body is not kind of used to all that and all that anyway so i told her to go online if she can see any nigerian restaurant i think yeah you guys you know we went to a nigerian restaurant you know the nigerian restaurant we went the other day that they were closed. I don't know when I mentioned it in the video. There's so much going on that I don't even know what I've said past and don't know what I'm saying now. But earlier when we were in the other hotel, just before we, I think it was on Monday when all the shops were open. Two days ago, we went to the Nigerian restaurant because we saw it online. They said they were open and then we went there, they were closed. So we checked again today and they were open. So I called them what they have because they said they have my money they have goat meat pepper they have all rishi, rishi stuff but they don't have anything like a goosey or a four or solid no so i called them they said they don't have my money today they don't have uh goat meat pepper the only thing they have is catfish and croaker and jollof rice and fried rice and gizzard which means i don't want all that so my daughter and they have beef so my daughter was like okay she'll have beef and jollof rice Hopefully, the Ajolo fries is spicy. So, and the place is quite far. When we took cab, I think they charge us almost 200 go and come. So, they said they do delivery. So, I'm really, really happy that they do delivery. So, I just, we've ordered and they said they bring in a budget charge delivery. They charge 100 euro, Turkish euro. And what we order is 100 as well. So, everything is 200. So, they are on their way bringing it. So, I hope my daughter will enjoy it. Left to me, I'm not really craving for jollof rice or anything, but because of I'm like, okay, me to our order. So we order jollof rice, two jollof rice and with beef. So hopefully it will get here. So that's what is going on and um, updates. And I'm not just sitting here doing nothing. I've been calling my agent. I, call, I, I spoke to my husband to call the agent. My husband was calling the agent. I tried to send email. Email is not going. I also called one of my sister and her and her husband too. They are trying to check online any available flight they can get for me. So it's not like I'm just stuck here not knowing what is happening. I would have preferred to stay in the, um, the hotel in the airport because then you know all the information. Okay, when is the next flight to UK and you know what is happening around you. Instead of just stuck in hotel, try to get people, you try to um, expect people to give you information, you know. So, but when I wanted to check in in the hotel in the airport, but it was so expensive, so expensive that how much you pay here for like seven days that is how much you pay there for like two nights so i can't afford it so we're like the best thing is to come to the to come back to the city the insta board the city to get which is cheaper you know so that is what is going on so the update now is um as i was saying i call my agent blah 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 they able to get back to me like they have um a two option for me maybe i should go to the airport to see if anything is happening i should and i can't be going to the airport to see and there's nothing i'll come to the hotel that is wasting of money for me because from the hotel the place we are to the airport is far 
is very far it's about um, i'll say it's about 30 to 40 minute drive on a motorway like just like if you are based in uk just like from i don't know the area you live but you know i believe from my house to gatwick is about 50 minute drive is it 50 minutes or less than that for each row is about 30 minutes drive so like things is so it's not it's not close anyway it's not close so i'm like instead of me wasting money paying for transport they should take me to the airport i'll look 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 there's nothing i'll pay for transport again to bring me back to my hotel wasting money that i could have just used to get roof over my daughter's a nice head or to get something to eat i'm not gonna do that so the next option the agent give me is i should go to the british embassy to let them know we are stuck here they will give me accommodation because i don't have any money on me and that's what i was explaining to the turkish airline people and they were like oh they can't help me in the condition because we are the one that lock, do the lockdown it's not their fault so if anything they cannot help me that i have to but i'm like i don't have money my hotel have i don't have money to lunch in a hotel not even money to feed my child they're like oh i should call family member to send me money about if my family member don't cannot afford to send me money like seriously anyway the agent now said i should go to british embassy thank god we have our british passport so he said we should go to uh british embassy to let them know our situation and they'll be able to give us accommodation and then yeah any available flights they will give it well which is good i've spoke to my husband i've also spoke to um that my sister that is helping me which that's what our uh, husband said earlier yesterday that we spoke but okay now i've heard from the agent because i was waiting for their response you know before i can take any step you know it's not like without them i can't make my own decision on my own you know in this situation you need to know they are the one booking the flight i need to know okay what is the next available what should i do i book through you what is going on so i I was waiting to hear, but it's not like I was just waiting for them. I fold my hand. Me too, I was checking. My daughter was checking online. My husband is checking. That my sister and her husband too were checking back in UK. So it's not like we are just here not knowing anything that is going on. Okay, so because I've already paid for today hotel, I'm like, okay, what we'll do? So the agents have sent me the na British Embassy that I should call them. But in my own case, I don't want to call them. I have their number, but I don't want to call them. My own plan is, which I told my husband, my husband was like, okay, it's a good idea. And I've also told that my friend that, that my sister, that her and her husband is helping me. I also told, because I need to inform them, because they are the one, they are checking on the, they are checking online as well, any available flights for me to take, they were really, so I need to also carry them along. So, um, I'm like, tomorrow by 11 o'clock, we have to, check out so i'm like tomorrow once we wake up we take our shower we get ready we just pack the two our luggage we brought one luggage when we're coming the other one is just for me buying stuff so we'll take the two luggage to go to the embassy instead of me calling them da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. i don't have time for da -da 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 -da. so i'll just go to the embassy with my daughter tell them okay this is the situation we are stuck we don't have money to do anything and i was told they'll give us accommodation and that is even better because they'll be able to inform us if any flights available because they have us on the system that okay there are british citizens here that stock any available flights going to the uk we will be one of the priority their first priority than me stuck here in a hotel paying for money that I cannot even afford to pay if anything come up nobody know that i'm stuck here apart from my agent and my husband and my uh, sister that i'm speaking with those are the people that know and of course, obviously my manager from work uh, she to have test me they've been so kind my manager have test me oh how far how are you i hope you are okay even my colleague at work my senior so those are the people that i know that they know that i'm out of the country i'm in turkey so tomorrow that is what we are going to do we are going to go to the embassy to see what's going to happen from there and then we'll see so guys i just been taking my shower and i just i just cream my face i'm gonna cream my legs the time is uh their time here is 3 29 so i believe in uk now it's about 3 
two one about 12 i think uk now is about 12 30 i'll be 12 29 like okay so that is the update we are still waiting for our food i've called them now they said they're on their way the food is on the way coming so but they said the place is far and i can tell on monday when we got a cab that the cab is taking or is almost about almost like about 45 minutes and there's so much traffic like the traffic here in the city here my people is as if we are in nigeria you know those nigeria traffic germs uk uk does not even have traffic we don't have traffic in uk anyway it's only when they are doing um road diversion i think that is the only way we normally experience traffic or maybe when there's accidents on the road and one road is closed like road diversion but here there's no road diversion maybe because it's in the city i don't know there's so much traffic traffic jam everybody just it's not like they don't drive well they, they are okay but there's just so much traffic i don't know whether because we are in the city or maybe that is how everywhere is in, in Turkey general i don't know so i'm sure the guy is stuck in traffic or something like that because even when we went out this early today there's so much traffic when we're passing the high street so much traffic so we're just hoping they come and we eat and then tomorrow yeah i'll go to the um um british embassy and i'm so happy with the news because that is even better and i just pray that we'll be able to find they'll be able to find us something at least a bit because this is my first time spending christmas without my family you know my my children i don't think my son even miss me he even told me that mommy i don't really miss you because they are home their dad is spoiling them even my daughter i don't think she really miss me you know they don't really as you know what, what normally happens when i'm not around when i travel like that their dad will spoil them their dad always spoil them their dad will do anything like he would do that things i will not do when i'm home he would do just to make sure that they don't miss me like because my husband would not want to upset them like for them to be crying that oh we miss mommy if mommy's at home now de -de -de -de. my husband will do everything for them not to even uh, feel that okay they will know that i'm not around but they will not feel it that oh if mommy's here now we should that this should have happened this shouldn't have happened no their dad will do anything for them you know so and what they are getting they know if i'm home they will not get it do you guys understand the difference uh -huh. because my husband is buying them everything they want if i'm home why we want to buy when mommy can cook jollof fries there's food let's eat proper food so for them getting all that they are just having the best time of their life like okay mommy if you come home fine if you don't come home we are here enjoying that is ordering this that is ordering that <laughs> so anyway that is update and when the jollof fries come i'll show you guys so right now i need to stop filming yes guys so you guys pray for me <laughs> i'll see you guys later you for my food it's cold it's cold why Ne diyor? Yok yok soğuk değil de ya. Ben zaten geleli de onda konmadı. De geç çıktı sadece biraz. Yoğunluk var diye. Sen çevirsene abi. De normalde onda. Why is he saying? Have the no don't have the ne diyor? Cold. No cold. It's not cold. cold. You have microwave. Microwave to warm. I don't know. Now it's coming. Yeah. I am speaking. Yes, I order. Okay. Uh, it's 200, right? Uh, Cheese. Cheese. 200. Yes. Yeah, this is 200. Yes. Okay. I send you. I send you. No, no, it's Jack. I'm going to go to the car. I'm going to go to the car.